Here we can see the average Taylor Swift fan on Twitter, going around sniffing out any kind of drama that they might come across. Observe what happens when you tell them that Taylor Swift is overrated and their songs aren't all that great. What's up gamers? Welcome back to some more regularly scheduled Den by Daylight content today. As you can see, we are getting Prestige 3 on the Demogorgon, courtesy, of course, of the whole Blood Moon event and everything. I've been playing a bunch of different, rather sweaty builds on this killer, and I gotta say, overall, Demogorgon has felt pretty awful in comparison to a lot of the other killers that I've played, and that's been tilting me quite a bit which sucks like i don't want to feel tilted about playing a killer overall now the reason why i'll get into during the gameplay but before we get into all of that let's go ahead and go over the build that we have that we're gonna be running for this video so first off we have agitation whenever we're carrying somebody we increase our movement speed by 18 percent and our terror radius is increased by 12 meters while doing so our second perk is starstruck a pretty powerful combination with agitation when we're carrying a survivor any survivors that are in our terror radius then are exposed and so that makes it so that we can carry survivors into locations quicker down them uh, and hopefully play around with you know the mobility that the demogorgon offers in order to, to catch people out like that we have awakened awareness whenever we carry a survivor we can see the auras of other survivors within 20 meters of our position so able to then hook somebody locate a survivor probably hiding behind a rock down them with the exposed effect from starstruck you guys kind of see where this is going and then finally for just a little bit of gem regression to slow the game down a bit uh, we have scourge hook pain resonance which you've all seen this before but every time that we hook a survivor for the first time on a scourge hook the generator with the most progress explodes and loses 25 percent of its progress in terms of add-ons we have the black heart which decreases our hit cooldown with our power by 10 percent and then we also have barb's glasses where if we break a pallet with our power it decreases that cooldown by 10 percent so allows us to continue chase a little bit quicker uh, and then we're also just bringing some more blood points overall as always so that'll be the build we're going into for this video i'm gonna try and focus a little bit less on being tilted and be a little more focused on like you know what we're bringing a fun build we're bringing something that i really enjoy which has been agitation starstruck as of late and even if the matches don't go too well that's okay so right to our first match okay we get the greenville square i mean it's because the survivor sent us here with the icarus loam they might have been doing so to try to send us at garden of joy but i do know that with this being the newest map people are still keen on trying to learn it and keen on trying to uh figure out where everything is you know they just want to know how this g dang map works now i i I'm going to put a portal right here next to this gen and then teleport back out to the... Where did I place that? It's placed over there. Uh, this is also a map that I'm not fully used to yet even, so that is something that I do have to kind of be a little bit mindful of, really. Now, I don't remember what the spawn logic is for survivors on this map, so gotta bear with me, but I do seem to have found somebody working on this generator here. Coming back around this corner. Hello, who is this? I see literally nobody, actually. Nobody on our uh, portal, so we can see from that. I have no idea where these people are. I don't know if I've seen them or not. They've been very sneaky so far. Nothing. Okay, someone here, though. I see you. Thank goodness. All this redness has made it really tough for me to uh, see scratch marks and what have you. Hello, Meg. Got a little bit of an M1 there. And then I think we can actually hit an M2 here if I'm lucky. Whoa! No, she dodges to the right a little bit. But I could have, like, maybe held that a little bit better. Oh, we get a lunge gifted to us there. I see the, uh, Vittorio here. Ooh! Trying to play around that flashlight there. Hit that. Very nice. Buddy, this isn't a loop. I don't know what to tell you. I saw that crow go up there over as well, so I think that there's somebody still on that gen that Victoria was working on. I'm gonna kick this though, just in the meantime. Just to regress it while we're in this chase. Or like, I mean, in quote marks, in this chase, right? <laughs> yeah, we lose that, but that's okay. 
Uh, hopefully no background player. We'll see. No, I actually can't. <laughs> well, I, I actually can't pick this person up because of um, background player. Yeah. Alright, go back here. Pick this person up. Uh, actually, we can't. We physically cannot because of this uh, Vittorio that's hovering. And that gen's done, too. But we knew about that happening, right? I, I fuck up that timing all the time, dude. Get her down again. Should we look at this person down, too? There we go. That's what I needed. And now... Hopefully no more flashlight players hovering around us. Oh, I don't give a shit about that. In fact, you're exposed here. Uh, oh. Yeah, hook this. Pretty easy. Now, that because they've been in our... Um, Terror radius, we do get like a nice little. Ooh, wait, we actually hit that. Holy shit. I'm surprised. We'll hit this. We get a nice little hit through that pallet there. I gotta go pick up this guy who I down over here somewhere. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Picking. Just kidding. That's some pretty good uh, damage for us pick this up again because they were all in our terror radius so that does mean we get to move over here i'm gonna leave that guy slugged because he's under a pallet obviously because we have agitation and awaken awareness we can see people around us but that gives me a little bit of regression clam spirit users i tell you what i'm just gonna keep slugging you i think not intentionally right like you guys understand that I have to leave this person slug because he's sitting under a pallet, and we've seen literally everybody floating around him, right? Like, if I go to pick up right now, right? Let's say let's say that I try to pick him up. There's going to be someone around the corner there. There's going to be someone going for the save here. Like, I just lose all semblance of pressure. Oh, wait, they were healing. Never mind. I probably should have picked him up sooner. Whoops. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Like, I just can't... I just can't, can I? <laughs> yeah, see? It's exactly what I said was going to happen. Oh, but I... Oh, you can't slug. Uh, Survivor's Rulebook says that you can't slug people. Sorry. How do you... Oh, yeah, dead. Wait, what? How... Did you play... Use a styptic on her? Yoink. Get that little pick up there. I think the Kate still might be around with this... Okay. We get at least get another Scourge Hook here, but good God. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be, um... This is like the saltiest I've probably ever sounded in my videos, and I don't mean to be this upset about it, but... Holy crap, Lois. I... You'll see the stats at the end of this video for the spreadsheet, and you'll understand why I'm just so fucking pissed off. <laughs> about this whole thing. Alright. Can I hit this? No, not quite. Okay, we just gotta go then. I'm gonna leave that guy alone. Uh, cause I think that if I keep trying to loop him, he's got a flashlight, he's gonna be... Yeah, these people are healing back here. By this gen, I think. Anyway, holy smokes. And he had a, a syringe placed in him, apparently. I don't have any... I don't have any blood in the blood stuff, so I'm just not expecting that. Let's go here. Because this has been activated, so now that they know it's here. Hello, hello. Now, I knew that he would think that I would go for the uh, pallet there. And so the, the logic there is that if he thinks that I'm going to go for the pallet, then he's going to dodge right because he thinks that I'm going to try and, and deny him that kind of uh, entrance there, right? I see this person behind this rock too, which is great news for me. Ace you off. They forgot that I have Starstruck. I can hang you here. Pick you up. Awaken Awareness is a great perk for this, though. For my porpoises. And up you go. Ideally, it would have been a Scourge Hook. But, alas, here we are. With a little bit of, a little bit of that regression going in here. And let's see. Uh, I think they might be waiting for Starstruck to wear off. 
Or they're going for Vittorio now? No, I have no idea, honestly. I can proxy camp this, though, because I kind of have to. Oh, wait. Yep, they're going for Vittorio now. Which is great. I can go for Meg. Nice hit there. Nice little M1. Oh, she's not playing that pallet. I thought she was, but here we are. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit for Starstruck to come back up. Yeah, Starstruck's up. Let me hit this. And go for the Starstruck over here, if I can, in time. Ooh, background player. Nah, they, they remember that I have Starstruck <laughs> with agitation, so... She can evolve that again? Yep. <laughs> I called it. I called it my gamer. Okay. We're actually doing a lot better this match than I have been. Again, like you'll see the fucking stats on this. Hello. You'll see the stats on this game. <laughs> or on this killer. I have not been having a good time. Like, straight up, not having a good time. Alright. I can get this person now. A little M1 there. She goes for the trade onto the Kate? No. She just goes for the Talon again. Yeah. And I get a lunge. Very nice. Both of those people are healing back there. The Kate also has background player. We saw her running at the speed of sound, but this guy should be dead. And altruism kind of kills if we have the right build against it. So that was very good for me. Already off to a great start. Eight hooks for my first kill. Can't say I tunneled at five gens. Is uh, I don't know if that's the the definition of tunneling. You know, having tunnel vision, right? All right, hello, Kate. You have, or you're not the, you're Michaela, sorry. All you dang redheads look the same. Good try, but you could have played that pallet there instead. I don't know why that was the, the plan you went for. Anyway, agitation to carry. I, this Kate's going to come, like, flying around a corner somewhere. I'm just going to be here. For now. Uh, they're resetting off somewhere else i'm not this again like i said this has gone a lot better than i expected it to but um don't expect all my games to look like this Ugh. anyway so the reason i was gonna get into like the reasons why i don't enjoy or i haven't had a great time playing this killer and the entire reason is that um oh she just gives up on her okay well the entire reason that i haven't enjoyed playing this killer quite as much is because unlike the other killers that i've played so far the amount of setup that i've been able to do has been are we giving up all right i guess we're giving up Bonk. Uh, but the amount of setup that i've been able to do with other killers compared to this one it i don't know it feels how would I put it? So when you're using the power, let's say, of Clown, right? You you pretty much universally understand that you can use that to hinder survivors in loops and that sort of thing. Um, you can use it to hinder survivors in loops. You can use it to speed yourself up around loops. You can then use it to deny vault windows because, you know, vaulting is... is uh, you can't fast vault whenever a clown hits you with, your, with, the, with the intoxication bottles, right? And so, and so, because you can't hit the uh, clown, or the you can't vault when the clown has his intoxication bottles on you, at least not a fast vault, you then run into this issue, or you can then catch survivors much more easily because they're also hindered, right? They can't do fast vaults, they can't do anything of that sort of stuff. Um, but... But with demo, it's like, okay, I can, oh, I saw her there. Yeah, I can M2, but I have to like play around the backside of a pallet and hope they don't dodge this very obvious lunge and hope that the hitbox works in my favor. And it's just, it's just a mess, man. It's just a mess of a power in my humble opinion. Uh, overall, I'm gonna put a portal here. I saw her for a second, but I lost her. I'm gonna do this. We can do this to channel to see if she's on the other exit gate. There you are. I was wondering where you went. I don't think you make it out. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. 
That's a little toxic. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, but we get we get the 4K. Meg kind of gave up because they realized, oh, darn, they're the gens are in a in a unretrievable state. Ugh. Um, <laughs> my, my thoughts are all over the place. I'm so sorry. I hope I'm I hope I'm making at least some level of sense. How did this go though? Let's check. Uh, Kate was the one with background players. Abitur breakout resilience had a brand new part. Well, so I'm curious as to why you would bring Sabo with back background player and breakout, but then bring the repair toolbox. That seems interesting, right? I guess if you want to like do more than one thing. Uh, Michaela was the one with calm spirit, boon circle of healing, shadow step, and deja vu. And I think she set that up in main. Uh, Vittorio had power struggle. That's why he was under palance, I guess. Uh, but he never picked it up? That's interesting. While being carried by the killer, reaching 15% wiggle progress activates power struggle. And flip-flop. So I definitely could have gotten stunned by a pallet there, but I don't know why he never used that. Uh, Meg had calm spirit, life, prove thyself, and deja vu. And that will be all the builds. Look at all those blood points I got, too, for that game. Holy smokes. That'll be, that'll be a good one, and we'll go ahead and tie into the next match. What is this? A crossover episode? Anyway, it's RCPS East Wing, baby. Gonna be a lot of... A lot of shit happening here. Um, let's... Try and go up to Helipad here, because I feel like that might be where some of our survivor friends have spawned. And look at that. Scratch marks. Just for me! Who is this? Hello, 1-800. Dial... Dial a, a Leon, I guess. Yeah, they're trying to, like, walk to offset their... Scratchies a little bit here. Uh, slow vaulted down here. Or not? I thought I thought they did. Whoops! You know what? My mistake. Uh, hundred percent my mistake. Let's go back here. Check this generator. Cause I think if that person spawned there, no, nothing here. Okay. Well, time to get moving then. Back towards main. And hello. People up here. They definitely heard that though. Oh, not in time. All three. There's three of you here. Okay. Let's go for the Yui. Does she take a right or a left? She takes a right left. No balance landing. That's a paddling. Oh. Did she DC? Please don't tell me you DC'd. Okay. Probably just lagging out a bit. Because we do see. Okay. Well, that's just rude. Uh, I'm gonna go over here then, if you don't mind. Uh, or am I? I'm not gonna get this in time. Oh, I barely did. It's a lot of Sabo squads lately, though, huh? Thankfully, agitation's gonna help us out with that quite a bit. Hello, Leon. Or Leno, however your name is supposed to be spelled. Uh, press 83 Leon, by the way, that we saw in the lobby. I want to keep going into what I was talking about before with, um... Oh, he actually just grieves that, huh? Ah, in that doorway there. Screws me. Okay, that's fine. See if there's anybody there. Hey, buddy. Nice try. With the FOV tech, but... Ah, I was trying to avoid getting hit there, but kind of unavoidable, I guess. All right, let's go up here. Let's people off of this. Nice, good hit, and we get the god pallet out of the way. Huge. All right, Demo City keeps winning. Uh, we're not going to be able to save that gen, but if I can delay it as much as possible by killing this person. Ah, that's that's just me not knowing the timing very well. That's a hundred percent my mistake. Oh, she doesn't take the vault either. No. All right, kick this. I should have kept chasing the uh, Yui, but I think that I was applying better pressure by not doing so. Yeah. You can go here. This generator is also almost done. And get these people. Get this Leon specifically. Nice. Get a hit through the pallet there. 
Okay. <laughs> Girl, it happened once. It will happen again. <laughs> That's really freaking funny to me. Alright, kick this. We have agitation, so I have time to go find other hooks around the map. Which is good. We hit both of those. We also hit both of those uh, pallets there, so that gives me a lot of time. Up you go. Hopefully no unbreaks for the eight out. Let's find out. I don't think so. Oh, hey, they unhooked. Nice. Very nice. I have ex you. You people are exposed. You can't actually block this, which is great news for me. This was always the. This was like one of the primary issues I've always had with. Uh... Oh, it's going that way. We can kill the Leon, maybe? I think we should just commit to it anyway. Oxytocin, I can... drop a... Did I see a flashbang drop there? Nope. Oh, there he is. Does he take this vault? Yeah. Oh, he does, but I got auto-pulled there, brother! What is that? Sucks to suck, man. Alright. Wait, a little bit for Starstruck to come back up? Two, three, there we go. <clears throat> Use this. Take you out this way. So I don't think they even know... Oh, wait. They're healing right there. That's very interesting. Fascinating. We hit a different gen there, and we can go for either one of you, really. Are you just camping this? I'm quiet. Ugh. I'm not going to be able to catch her, though. Not in... Ample time. Yeah. Yeah. Go back out here. I thought I heard that vault from here, but apparently not. There you are. Nice. Good hit. Good hit. I've got the timing now. Uh, and around and around the loop we go. Like, I really... I'm just wasting so much time, though. I'm wasting so much time being here. I just need to leave. Uh, we have her injured, so... Even though she has a medkit, it'll be time that she's not on a gen, and that's m more important to me right now. Uh, this doesn't get completed in time. They're not quite there yet. But there are three people here, which is wonderful news for me. He takes the... I <laughs> keep doing this to this poor person. All right, we can, we can break this pallet. I'm on now. That's just me not knowing the timing, though. So, unfortunate for me. Um. 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 Minus 10 on that, too. It's very nice. All right, now she drops it. Yep. Easy peasy. We go back out to the outside gen here. Ah, oh, but they healed up. Hmm. I don't think they're out here then. They're not out here because they we chased them off that way. There were three people. Alright. I heard... I see you up there. I see you self-healing. Alright, well now we gotta go entertain... We gotta go entertain the Cheryl. I'm on now, Cheryl. And she's down and out, but she... There's that balance landing. Or what she does have is this pal that she's just gonna loot me on forever. What? I was excuse me, I was robbed? Officer, there was a a robbery that happened? Ugh. Oh yeah, yeah, I hate that. I hate that for me. Plays this pallet here. Fuck me. I really want to get the Cheryl, but I don't think I can. Just looping me too well. There we go. Jeez, Luis. Had enough of you. Break that, because it's a little faster, because of our add-on. Oh, grab this. This game is very quickly falling apart. I mean, w well played to their team to get me into this position, but holy shit, dude. Alright, up you go. Uh, working on a gem back here somewhere. This one. Leon is nearly dead? Or, well, I mean, he's, uh... 
this. Anyway, uh, Leon is hooked stage dos, so... That was pretty easy to hit there. Got his ass. Alright. Also go for Yui. Get that. Uh, I actually want to go back and stop the heal on Leon here if I can. Yeah, very nice. You gonna down here? Slap you, pick up the Leon? Wait, Yui, what are you doing? Barely. What? Okay. This has gone from bad to actually kind of good. Also, Leon's under a pallet. I don't want to deal with that. I'm gonna grab you instead. Uh, walk you out this way. Oh, controller player. <laughs> controller player couldn't pick between um, picking that person up and not. But the good news is that because we had all of them down there, now they're all off of gens. Our scourge hook hits something. I don't think I hit anything there. But a lot of them are out here. All three of them are here. Dude, look at this. We see all three of them. That means that none of them are on gens now, which is... Wonderful news for me. Yeah, I'll just hit you and walk on through. No mind. We don't lose too much distance because of um, the uh, the cl the proximity with which we were able to hit that there. Ah, damn. The Ada plot twisted somewhere. Gonna go for that vault. He goes for the vaults again. There we go. Fake him out a little bit. Grab this guy. Whew, I'm a little, little lucky there. But we have managed to pull this game back around by its feet. You know, just grabbed it by the ankles and yoinked it straight back. I mean, we're down to one gen, but... We're kind of cooking here. We're actually not doing too bad. I can follow these blood trails here because whoever this is is injured. I mean, they're all injured, so that's how I know all about all of this. Oh, I thought she would double back. All right, well, we get this. All these pallets are burnt too, which is great because of the resources that we took down earlier in the game. Dead odd. No dead odd. Okay. You're dead too, I think. Right? Is Yui dead? I think Yui's dead. Is Yui dead? Let's find out. Yui, are you dead? No, you're not dead. Okay. And we got a Scourge Hook off of that. I'm okay with that, honestly. Uh, both of these main gens have been done, so I don't know what was hit by my uh, pain res there. Uh, we'll put a portal here. Put a little blood droplet here. And back we go. They're not on my portal there, though. You know, I said I was going to discuss all the things, like, about Homeboy demo that I thought just made them unpleasant to play. But now that I've thought about it, now that I've had like these couple of good games, I don't think I'm really in a position to complain, right? Goes for that window. Very nice. Very, very good news for us. She goes out this way. <laughs> like, after... <laughs> she knows she knows to pre-drop him now, so I will swing through him. <laughs> That's really funny. But after this result, though, uh, and after these games have been so hotly contested, I don't think I really have the... Unfortunately, I don't really have the brain capacity in order to explain everything, right? Nice. Stop the... We start the uh, swing a little bit before. We know that she's going to be on the bad side of that pallet. And we get the down. We hear a crow over to my right, but I don't know if that's the homegirls or not. Nothing there, nothing there. So I think they're over here. Uh, let's go take this portal and find out. Yerp. Oh. Wait, what? 
What did I see? Oh, I see. I did see scratch marks. Sometimes, like, I'll see scratch marks and I think, like, nah, that's fake because, you know, the event's been juking me out this whole game. Or, uh, this whole week, really. And it's been going on. They might go back for that gen, too, so I gotta go. Check. Oh. There you are. Here are your little footsteppies. Alright, we're back here again, aren't we? This time I respect the pallet, and I get the drop, so that's pretty good. Vaults it. Uh, we can't keep chasing this because we don't know what the progress on the other gens like, and we see that Scratchy's there. Uh, I mean, one of these gens is going to get completed, there's no doubt in my mind. Oh, Ada's slow vaulting that. We can go for Ada. I think Ada might be a decent SWAT here. Because, you know, dead on hook. They're all dead on hook, really. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Oh, I almost hit that. She almost walked back into me. Y'all saw that. Uh, damn. And I think she has adrenaline, too. Look how fast... You saw, like, how fast she sprinted away there. Uh, they're closer to main, so we gotta go back for that. I don't know. I think I kind of lost control in this match. We, we did have some pretty good plays, but... I don't know, like, the picking order that I had there. Maybe I should have just slugged all of them and gone for the 4K, but that just seems a little, a little toxic, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe I don't want to be toxic. Let me go back here. Not the greatest location for a portal, but it's something, at least. It gets me somewhat close. But possible they get all three out, but they're all in death hook, so it's like... Nine, nine stage game with all fresh? Oh, wait, I just... <laughs> I've, I've circled back around again. Oh, hey. How's it going? Hi, Yui. You're the odd person out here. <clears throat> Get a nice hit here. Overcome would be so brutal for me uh, if she was running it, but I don't think she is. She vaults that window. Obviously. Vaults that. I get the down. Very nice. Get this. I don't think there was a flashlight there. And grab this. And we can start walking. We can start walking at them here. I mean, they, they both get out, though, because they have opened the gate. Ooh, we see them on our awakened awareness, but... Wait, what's she doing up there? What's she doing up there? Like, I know that you're up here. I saw you on awakened. Question is, I think she probably walks back around here. Through this doorway? Nope. Or she goes through the other gate, too. Like, either way is fine. Getting a nice little 2k here, uh, with like 10 stages, is not bad at all. And she knows that she has to play this super careful. Oh, Hatch is in here, too. We'll close this. Uh, getting a, a, a 10 hook game with two kills yeah i think i think i can be pretty happy with myself overall it, it, it's entirely possible that the cheryl's like oh the demo is going to be defending this gate so we just gotta we just got oh she was here the whole time no she gets out damn that's super unfortunate she was like sitting in a corner here i think yeah i didn't see her if if any of you saw her in the video let me know because i'm sometimes a little bit blind to that she might have been hiding behind um that ventilation unit, I just wasn't able to see her, but GG's, let's see what they brought. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Cheryl had Kindred Resilience will make it dead hard. Not bad at all. Two brand new parts, very nice. Uh, we still managed to get a 2k off of that, off of two brand new parts. Window Opportunity, Saboteur, Background Player, Breakout. It's kind of funny. Uh, Yui had Enemy Necessary, Breakout, OTR, and Spine Chill. Leon, Resilience, Adrenaline, Deja Vu, Windows. Pretty decent. Pretty decent build. Pretty decent gamers overall. And that will end our commentary on the Demogorgon here. Stats are on the screen now. Feel free to ask me in the co in the comments below what I think about uh, Demogorgon. There, I'll probably just put up a pinned comment and talk about the, the gripes that I have with this killer or the reasons why I found him so frustrating to play. And, uh, well... Hopefully that'll explain the ire that I had towards the start of the video. So I do apologize for being salty in that regard. Um, with that all being said, thank you so much for watching. Take care.
and uh, a goodbye.